I am feeling much better today. I really don't understand what happened to me yesterday, but I'm glad I'm feeling better now. Going to a topical issues lecture, and then a system on chip supervision, and then a topical issues supervision. I've done an hour and a half before my first supervision. I want to spend that time trying to get to grips with the content a bit more. Well, supervision's done. Now it's the weekend. Two deliveries today. This first box is paper to print my dissertation onto. The lab irritatingly specified that the paper has to be 90 or 100 GSM rather than 80, which is the standard paper weight. So, I ordered some from Amazon. And this was described as super smooth as well in the, the description. So hopefully it's nice. Oh, it is smooth, wow. Why are they trying to offer me a free trial of Amazon Prime when I ordered this with Amazon Prime. Useless. Also some spam from Grays, who I will be working for next year. And the super smooth paper. Really badly packaged, it's all ripped. Not impressed, Amazon. Very white, very smooth, just as described. Get this one if, you, if that's what you want in paper. Grams per meter squared. So it's slightly thicker than normal paper, which is what they wanted. Don't know why. I don't know why they care how thick the paper is. Whether it's 90 rather than 80, but whatever. There we go. And uh, next, this thing. Two chocolate oranges. Thank you to the person who sent me these. Here's a sample page of my dissertation. The smooth paper makes the text look nice. But that's kind of boring. I'd rather just eat this. How can I smush this off something in here? Oh, this concrete shelf. Still don't understand why anybody decided it was a good idea to make a shelf out of concrete in a bedroom and just like leave it on display like this. But I can crack my chocolate orange. Perfect. Spoons for dinner today. Even though it's Friday, not Sunday. I got back from Spoons and I'm having a one drink since it's a Friday night. You guys keep asking what I'll be doing with videos after I leave Cambridge, so obviously I graduate very soon. Exams are in like four weeks. And then shortly after that, I graduate and I get a degree. I will keep vlogging after that, I'll keep making videos. That's not gonna stop. I don't know long term what I'm gonna be doing with my life, so I can't tell you what the videos are going to be about, but I'll keep vlogging my life. If you don't know already, I have a job lined up for when I graduate. In August, I will be moving to London and working for Grays. G-R-A-Z-E, not the colour. They're the company that sends little boxes of snacks in the post and you can subscribe to them. I'm going to be a software developer for them. So, first thing you'll see after I graduate from Cambridge is me vlogging my summer and go on holiday, hopefully, and then moving to London, which is a big move for me from the northeast, and then starting my job as a software developer in London. But as I've said before, and as you can see from my channel, I've been making videos for seven and a half years. That's not gonna stop just because I'm finishing university. Since I started making videos, I finished secondary school, I finished sixth form, and now I'm finishing university. No excuse to stop, I'm gonna keep going. I cannot believe how quickly these weekends are coming around. It is Saturday again, it is time for brunch. Not many more weekends before exams. <laughs> Today I'm going to do that mobile and sensor systems supervision work. Supervision is on Tuesday, work is due on Monday, so I've got 
three days to get it done, which is more than enough. Hopefully. I haven't looked at the course yet, to be honest. The lectures are currently ongoing. I've been to two out of five of them so far, I think. Yeah, so the first one was when it was my birthday and I didn't go. Then I went to the second one. Can't remember if I went to the third. I didn't go to the fourth, but I did go to the fifth. So my knowledge for this course is incomplete at best. But three days to learn it, this is fine. My desk's a bit of a mess, I might tidy up before I start doing any work. Although, don't use tidying up as an excuse to procrastinate. Don't tidy for the sake of it, but... I mean, I need to, like, spread out things to, to learn from. Lecture notes and paper and the questions. Um, let's just quickly tidy this up. tidy now, some stuff to deal with there later, my dissertation stuff. This is the course I'm about to do, mobile and sensor systems, and my laptop. And I could do with some paper. Loads of you ask why I write my supervision work instead of using, instead of typing it or using something like LaTeX. It's so much faster to write it, you don't understand. Let's face it, LaTeX takes forever. There is no way you could quickly type something in LaTeX when you when it's full of diagrams and maps. Let me show you a piece of supervision work. Right, this is the first thing I've just found. This is Security 2. Um, it's it's a mixture of maths there. I'm writing out like some maths for an algorithm. I'm writing answers here in text that which are like bullet pointed and have like HS of X squared equals HS of X. Here I've got a table which has lots of letters and subscript and dots. You can't tell me you can type that in LaTeX faster than you can write it. There, there's a diagram, like a, a kind of flowchart thing, showing a particular cryptography, a, a cipher. There's this, this variety of different styles of, of writing and drawing and, and all of these different things combined means typing it is just really not practical. Also, we have to write in our exams. And if you go the whole year without writing anything, trying to write for three hours straight is tough. Writing out supervision work is practice for exams. So typing takes too long. The same goes for revision notes. Depending on the course, you are probably wasting time by typing instead of writing your revision notes. If it's only text, go for it, type it. You might be able to type faster than you can write, but I guarantee you can't type maths in LaTeX faster than you can write. Same goes for Microsoft Word or whichever other way you have to type maths. Writing with a pen on a piece of paper is faster and also prepares you to do the same thing in an exam. Then lots of you ask why I go to the library to scan my work and why I don't do it some easier way. Firstly, I scan my work so I can email it to my supervisor because often that's the only way to get the work to them before the supervision so they can have a look at it and mark it. Secondly, I go and scan it on the big photocopier in the library because it's good quality and it gives good results. Yes, there are apps for mobile phones which will do scanning type things, but they're just not as good. So, so that's why I handwrite work and that's why I scan it. Enough of that though. Time to learn mobile and sensor systems.
Chandler that you've just watched of me doing this mobile and sensor systems work was three hours-ish of work. I've done six and a half questions out of ten, not too many more to do, and I'm actually learning all of this stuff as well. It's understandable, which makes a change. Not totally from the notes, how to use the internet for some things, some YouTube videos. I could do with the recommended textbook for this course, actually. I feel that's going to explain a lot of stuff because every chapter, the end of it, has like a references section and it always lists the same book, so I'm assuming the course is based on that. I tried to find a PDF of the book but I couldn't. Maybe I need to go to the library and find the real thing. Having said that, I'm nearly finished, I've managed without it. Time for dinner now though, I think. Not sure what I'm doing. I would go to the buttery but I just went for brunch. I don't like to go that much because it's not that good. Right, none of my friends are going to the buttery, so I'm just going to grab something from Subway. Done a couple of minutes away. Just going to take this back to Queens and eat it there. Alright, it's getting late, so I'm going to get some sleep. Sunday tomorrow. Try to make the most of the second half of the weekend in terms of productivity. Tomorrow I'll finish my supervision work, um, make final changes to my dissertation. I still haven't heard back from my supervisor. He is away this week, I did know this. I'm not sure exactly when he's getting back, whether he's back now or whether it's sometime next week. But the, the deadline is next Friday, which is basically five days from now. So I just need to get it printed, I think that's just the best course of action. Even if there are some good changes I could make, it's, it's a bit too late. I'm better off just getting it printed and submitted so it's done. I do not want to be trying to make last minute changes and printing it on the day of the deadline because if we're late with submitting it, the penalty is really severe. We instantly lose 25% of the marks that we can gain um, from, from the dissertation. And the dissertation is worth 25% of the year, so we lose like an eighth of our overall marks, I think, unless it means an, a quarter of our total grade, I don't know. Either way, it's really bad. So I'm just going to get it printed and submitted as soon as possible. But right now, I'm going to bed, so good night and thanks for watching.